in my last um, debate, I'm just, I will summarize the argument of the affirmative and then reestablish our position on the current case. So the affirmative um, basically says in the argument that college, college should be tuition free, so it will be more widely accessible to students. Um, second, that removing tuition will eliminate for-profit colleges. Uh, third, tuition acts as a ter the term for attending universities and colleges. Fourth, free tuition promotes college attendance. And fifth, their final plan of action to redistribute, redistribute government financing for education. Uh, focusing on our side, um, <coughs> I do not believe that um, tuition is the main reason why kids don't go to college. It's, you know, some some students don't go to college because their parents won't let them go, um, and that's because that's a lot of more low-income students. As they said that, as my partner said that, um, there's always been a there's always been an off leveling of rich students versus poor students in universities. It's sometimes because um, the lower students have to stay at home and to help their parents out with financial costs and probably work, so they don't have time to go to college. <coughs> And with that, um, if you give free tuition to universities and colleges around um, the United States, which are mostly populated by you know the rich people, does it really make sense to um, pay all that money for somebody that doesn't necessarily um, need the help? You know, these wealthy kids, you know, I'm pretty sure they would have no problem paying for the tuition and all expenses that come with it. So, does it really make sense to make the rest of the country pay for something that? Um, or pay for help that the, those students don't really need. Um, they comment, the affirmative commented that that free tuition wouldn't drive uh, you know um, students to not be as good as in school. But however, um, looking at the public K through twelve um, system, according to Christopher Denhart and his article that states um, there is no such thing as a free college education. He states that public K-12 education in the U.S. has been criticized for its declining standards and edu educational outcomes, while the, public, the private K-12 <coughs> university system continues to flourish. So you know, the, key, the, the kids that whose parents paid for them to go to high school, they're often more involved in what their child is doing and how they're doing. And the ones that go to public universities where you don't have to pay, um, they're not as involved, and students don't really try as hard because um, they don't have a burden of a burden on them that their parents are paying for it. So they don't really they don't really feel the need to try, which I believe will um, will follow them if they go to college for free. That uh, they're not their parents aren't paying anything, so why should they really try? And to summarize my argument, um, um, the last affirmative speaker stated that. First, they would need to acquire the money, and then they could put a plan into action of date. Well, the $62.6 billion that they talked about um, isn't just going to be a one-time payment. You know, they're going to have to, I'm pretty sure you can just pay $62.6 billion one time and then have free tuition for the rest of the, the, rest of the world. You know, you're going to have to acquire, you're going to have to have this money for, you're going to have to keep acquiring this money um, for long periods of time. So if you're going to have to keep acquiring it, how are they going to make a date if they don't have the money yet? So once you get the sixty-two point six billion dollars and it runs out, and you don't have you don't have enough money to keep covering the cost, well, what is there to do after? And that pretty much summarizes my whole point.